I don't know if you can hear that truck over there, but they're topping off our propane tanks this morning. I'm standing in front of our big garden because I wanted to emphasize how proud I am of Wendy and her garden. For the last couple days, she's been making salsa using our own homegrown tomatoes and peppers. And they're special peppers too. Wendy picked out some unique varieties that she really wanted to try. In addition to that, she's also smoked the peppers. So this salsa is gonna be good. Today is the day that I'm flying back to Oregon to see my family. So I don't have a lot of time before I have to get on the plane. I've gone ahead and taken care of all the chores. And I had to do it a little bit quicker than I thought I would. Sounds like a storm's coming. Anyway, took care of the chickens. I did take a little extra time to clean off the water for Wendy. I wanted it to be nice for her while I'm gone. We're gonna try leaving the water outside the coop and see how the chickens, how the chickens like that. When it's in the coop, we think maybe the chickens perch up on top of it and just poop all over the thing too much. I also took care of the goats. Those new stock tanks, I hope will come in handy to help keep those goats in plenty of water. So that'll be a little bit easier for Wendy while I'm gone as well. I'm at the Springfield Branson Airport. I'm gonna fly from here to Atlanta and then on to Portland. It's been almost half a year since I've been back in Portland and it'll be nice to see family again. I'll probably be gone for about two weeks. Doing the chores this morning was a, a little bit rushed because of the weather and trying to get here on time. But you know, I think I'm gonna kind of miss it. It's a, it's a normal daily routine, but you know, it's a, it's a beautiful place. And this morning was pretty cool. We had a rainbow, so that's always, that's always nice to have little surprises like that. I'm sure Wendy can take care of things while I'm gone. I'm in Atlanta, got a couple hours to make my flight to uh, Portland, and it's on time. Everything's going good so far. It's good to be safely back in Portland. My dad has an Airbnb out here. Right now we're between guests, so it's good for me to show you a little bit out here. I'm a wood sculptor, and some of my sculptures stay here at my dad's. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Triple Bypass. Three pieces of wood that interlock together and hold each other up as a tripod. And this piece, I was just working on preparing it. Design flaw on my part, but this snapped right here, so I had to re-glue it and put in a couple screws for a little extra support. But I really like this configuration of it. I haven't uh, tried it like this before. It's kind of fun to reposition these things and find something new. This piece over here is one of my dad's favorites. This is a stool made out of really high quality birch plywood. So you get all these concentric rings with the, the dark glue in there. I'm not actually staying in the Airbnb. I'm staying in the house and dad has the paying guests out here. Okay. I just wanted so to say grade, it's yours, wonderful to spend some good quality time Christmas with my family. Anybody want to say hello to YouTube? Hi YouTube. I'm going to let you know that my mom is uh, learning this game stuff after 48 years. But she's he, makes good. Up, he makes up stuff for the rules. But mm -hmm. you do with this, is, this is what I do with YouTube. 
we're having a nice family reunion, and I wanted to mention that we have close family friends coming by. It's nice to have old family friends that might as well be family. And we are old. <laughs> and we are yeah. We're just happy to be here and be with Brian, who has nice. done so much. Nice. Yeah. Bless you. That's great. I wish you'd stay here. I know. I wish you'd come work for us. <laughs> <laughs> you can say hello to YouTube if you want. Hello, YouTube. Here's the other one. Most of our folks are a little shy. <laughs> but everybody's having a good time. So that's, that's the important thing. I'm going to walk You better follow him. All right, bye. Yeah, good to see you guys. I could not be a farmer's wife, for sure. I don't want to see anything that I've seen alive and then see it on my plate. I can't do it. I want to go to the grocery store and pretend. It's just, you know, I don't know the, where they came from. The way you're raised. You know, if you're raised on a farm, it's just life. It's okay. Right. I wasn't. I'm just sitting there. Yeah. Yes. Wendy just sent me another picture. Look at this okay. one. This is all of the goats. I think all the goats. Oh, <laughs> oh, it would be just a little before sunset, probably, and having a good time out there. All over the place. They're, they're beautiful. They really are beautiful. Oh yeah, she is a big. She's so much bigger than all the rest. Definitely. They love you know, hanging out. Get, get if you don't get any more goats, I like those little floppy-eared ones. What are those? Nubians. Nubians, yeah. Yeah, they're really. That's cute. what indigo is. Yeah, these are oh, cute guys. He's just a big one. That's pretty average size, I think. Really? For yeah. Oh. She has the soupy ears. So. Yeah, I like those. Right. <laughs> my aunt, Josiel, my dad's sister, and Larry. And uh, we're talking about family. I wanted to know her perspective on what my grandfather, Papa John, would think of what I'm doing with the... <laughs> With the, you know, the homesteading. Well, Brian, he'd be very proud of you because you believe in hard work. Oh, thank you. And he believed in hard work. And, yeah. you, and he would very, very much would enjoy, you know, I'd like, I sometimes think he can see us, that he can see down and see your farm and know that you will take good care of it, that you're not just doing it on a fly, that you weighed the cost. And uh, yeah, he, uh, he was so proud of, uh, of family mm -hmm. and knowing that you're taking it very responsibly to start the farm and you know, I, I have to say your dad loved farming. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But he was a farm that's who he was. Yeah, he, he was farming. He was a farming. farmer. And uh, you know, I've told Larry many times when he was growing up, his mother when he'd say, Can we have some fun? His mother said, We don't have time for fun. We don't we work. Maybe someday you'll have time. But my dad with Mike and Pat and I always would try to find little ways of fun, mm -hmm. little little things that he would do that were just different, that were um, not the expected, and because uh, he didn't want that heavy feeling that he had as a child, where it's all work and no reward. Mm -hmm. And uh, Papa John's childhood was a bit truncated because of his his parents. And, uh, what happened there? Yes, they were, there was an element of fear, you know. Well, what had happened is, you know, his own father died yeah. and left yeah. the grandmother and the older boys to start. And, you know, they would rotate going to college because one would have to stay at home and work. And so it took them longer to get through college. Yeah. But as far as Papa John be proud of what you are doing. He'd be very, very proud of you. And he'd know you'd do a good job. Mm -hmm. It's your nature to be conscientious. So he would be very, very proud of you. And I, I don't know if the animals, um, I would probably think that maybe the cows would be what would be a favorite animal. You know? He'd like us to get a cow. Yeah, I think so. I think you will really be a true farm to you. <laughs> 
you know, I don't, my beliefs are that definitely my parents are with the Lord, but that it's not so far away. It's not like they die and they go way off. They're, they're very close. And they experience the joy that we were joyful. Yeah. Yes, speaking of uh, Joe's father, uh, he had a tremendous work ethic. Um, he was a county agent a good, good many years of his life. He loved working with the youth and helping them have farm projects or maybe it's a sewing project, maybe it's canning, uh, or help, help them, uh, if they were in town they could at least maybe have some rabbits that they could show at the fair and have the enjoyment of raising, but also working with the farm kids who would have projects uh, with 4-H, yeah. which was part of his area. And then um, when he retired from um, that particular work, he was already working at two jobs with uh, the Oregon State University doing seed certification and he would travel different parts of the state walking the fields and certifying them to have a higher price for their seed if the fields were clear of certain weeds. Mm -hmm. He did that well into his 80s and so he was just uh, had a wonderful work ethic. He loved gardening and he mm -hmm. kept a record of his gardening. He would know what he planted the year before and what the results were and he would use those kind of records to increase the family garden which they relied on a lot. Because a lot of the times were financially difficult when he was raising his family of three kids. And uh, Papa John also loved family. He was just completely dedicated to family. And he would travel a long distance to watch his grandkids play in sports or whatever activity they were involved with in order to support them. And he was very generous. He, uh, he, at times when they, the kids were growing up, uh, and then even the grandkids were young, when they had a little more fun. See, if they needed to help with their car, college, or whatever it was, he was very generous with his family. And uh, I think part of his Christian upbringing was just believing in keeping relationships strong, forgiving people, working towards reconciliation, keeping the family together, and making those kind of hard decisions in order that they would have unity in the family. My grandfather was one of the best men I've I've known, and I am glad that he helped shape who I am, actually. Yeah. He deserves to be um, honored. Yes, he does. And we all miss him. He had quite a legacy. It's still with us. And we're still living the fruits of it. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.